What's good? It's your boy Sam, man, and we're lit. Okay, so look, today's the big day. Now, if most of y'all know who I am, I'm your boy Sam, man, and I want to say about three to four months back, we talked about a special shoe that I always wanted, and we're gonna go ahead and say the Yeezys. They came in today, and I just had to make this video not just about those, but about every single favorite pair of shoe that I got in my closet. Now, those are not every pair of shoe that I have in my closet. Just know that I have tons and tons and tons of shoes. Just didn't want to bring them out. This will be an hour video. Before we get into the video, I just want to say a shout out to my boy Marcus. That's my bro, my day one nigga. Um, we've been riding together since like, what, high school, elementary to high school. And like, we are sneakerhead things. Like, for real, but we had to cool down because we got you know what I'm saying? Older, as y'all would call us, old heads. We're about to get into the video. Um, right now, I'm rocking the flu games. These are the 12s. Just in case y'all don't know what number it is. That's what I'm rocking right now today. Um, shout out to my man, G6. Gotta put on. Hey, let's get into this video, man. Enough talking. So today, we're gonna start off with the Yeezy 700 Wavy. These are one of the Yeezy that I love. Um, I think they go for about a good 500 if you look them up on StockX. Um, they are in very, very great condition. A lot of y'all always say, oh, Sam, man, always wear these Yeezys. Let me tell y'all something. I take pictures and I don't upload them. And when I do upload them, the pictures is like, what, down there three, four months old? maybe two, three weeks old. Either way, I can't help that. I always got the Yeezys on. And at the end of the day, who cares? They're very comfortable. So if you guys are looking into buying these, they are not hard to break in. Once you get to walking in them, you're good. I don't really have a story behind these. I just like them. I like the color wave. As y'all know, I made the logo color off of this shoe because I like the color wave. But these are very, very comfortable shoes. They come in, I got the clean box. Um, clean box so hey if you ever want to get some of these 700 wavies get them these bad boys that's nice uh, now the shoe that we all been waiting for drum roll please the concords now these bad boys whoo do i have a story behind these but i'm gonna just make it short though i'm gonna make it short I'm not gonna really go into details with these just know these are the concords 11s um these bad boys probably worth on stock X, I wanna say probably a good five, almost $600. And these are not the OGs from 011, but these are the Concord steel. You know what I'm saying? It's the box that it comes in. I don't have, and it comes off, and it came nasty too, because I had to re-get these, but they came nasty from stock X. I don't like this box. It's not even the original box, but this is the box that came, when they came back out. Um, so long story short, me and my brother used to camp out for J's before they started handing out raffle tickets and stuff like that. So we was like dedicated. We used to always go to the malls. We used to always like make sure that they was going to have the shoe. And I'm talking about months early, you know what I'm saying? Like three or four months, we was in, we was in the mall doing our rounds. So anyway, long story short, we got there, I wanna say 12. We was inside the mall. Security guy ran on us, kicked us out the mall. Like, literally kicked us out. We literally get outside. It's about, I'm not, I'm not lying when I say that it was about a good hundred something people outside. A good hundred people. And I had to go to work that day. This was back in 2011. I tell you like this. I didn't get the first one. I, get, I didn't get it. They shut down the mall. My brother ended up getting them from our cousin, but the fact that I had to go to work knowing that I didn't get these bad boys, I was sick, devastated. It was an unamazingable week for me. That's what I would say. An unamazingable week. But the fact that I got them now, it's all that matters, you know? But 
but I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna let, let y'all go. By not getting these, opened up my eyes on not really caring too much for Jays. I still was pursuing the Jordan thing, but I thought the laid back, I, you know, and that kind of threw me off. It kind of, it kind of threw me off. But I'm help. I'm happy it did though, because if it didn't, I would have still be stuck in my ways on knowing that I need to get every single joy, but I don't. So these are the concords, and that's my story behind these bad boys. All right. So these are the Brand Elevens. Um, I don't really have a story behind these. I always had these Virgin Jordans, uh, versions of Jordans. Um, there's really no story behind them, but I don't I don't know how much these would go for on Star X. The last time I checked, it was like four hundred dollars. Just the box. I had these. Uh, this is probably like my second pair, so this would make it. Yeah, this might be my second pair. So I had I had these back when I was in high school, but um, but yeah though, man, I, 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 the colorway with these bad boys is just it, it never fails. It never failed, you know? This will always be a lit Jordan to me. Um, I want to sit the video right here and talk about the Space Jams. Um, those are my favorite, favorite, favorite Jordans. And I know a lot of y'all know that the 11 Space Jams are my favorite Jordans. And I know y'all wondering, like, why are we not about to see those next? I'm going to tell you why. I'll tell you why. They're dirty, okay? <laughs> and the fact that I can make the video on my favorite Jordans upsets me, but we're going to get past it. We're going to get past it. Um, I'm not going to even tell you the story on those. I'm going to do this. We're going to have a special, special video later on down the line about my Space Jam 11. And they're going to be looking spotless. So we're going to move on from here. And that's my story on why I can't tell you about the Space Jam 11. But hey, Bray 11s, baby. All right. A lot of y'all don't know what these are, so allow me to explain. These are called the Pradas, all right? These are the yeah, designer shoes. Um, these are old, old, old designer shoes, in my knowledge. They've been out for some years. Um, I don't really have a story behind these. It's the box that it comes with. The story behind the products, I always wanted the high tops. Cause I'm not really a low a low cut person. I don't like low low shoes. I like my shoes to be high top. And um, I was in Florida in Orlando at the outlet because they got a product in Orlando. They had two malls: the, the inside mall and they had the outside mall. And I was at the outlet part of it. Anyways, went to the product um, store. I seen these bad boys in the high top, and I wanted them, but they didn't have my size. As y'all can see, they come in European size. They're not a size 11 they would be like a size like nine or something like that because it's not an american shoe but either way um i wanted the high tops i didn't have it the lady said look i insist on showing you the lower version of them and i'm like i don't really do low versions of shoes i, I, I hate them you know what i'm saying and she was like trust me you're gonna like so i said I'm, I'm good so she said i'm gonna bring them out anyway a lot of y'all not like she was really forcing me on these bad boys and when she brought them out i fell in love Fell in love, I had to get them. These were back then around about $500. Um, I don't know how much they go for now, but that's my story behind the products. They still in great condition. I got, in, I got these back in 2012. I got these 2012. No, I lied. I got these back in 2013. That's when I got these and they still in great condition. So yeah, those are my stories behind the products. Look what we got here. We got the fives, white, black, and red. Now, I don't really have a great story behind these bad boys, but I always ended up with the fives as far as the all black version. And, and it's like, I always missed out on these and I never got a chance to get them. And I ended up getting them later on, you know, but this is my, these are my first pair. But I ended up getting them. They recently came out. Um, I don't know how much these go for on stock. I'm sure they're not going for too much. I'd probably say about a good close to $300. I won't even give them that much. If they are going for more than $300, then that's what's up. But other than that, um, these are the fives. 
fire fives, you know what I'm saying? This is the box that comes with it. It's a plain, regular box, you know. Nothing special, nothing special. But yeah, man, as y'all can see, these bad boys are still clean. I don't want to really mess them up, you know. All it takes is one time or someone to walk near you. Scoop, black mark on your white shoes and you sick. So yeah, these are the five fives, man. Um, as y'all notice, before we go to the next shoe, have y'all noticed, all my shoelaces are never tied. I've been working my shoes like this for the longest. For the longest. Even my work shoes. <laughs> when I used to have a nine to five, I used to literally like undo my laces and my boss used to come to me and be like, hey, you, know, you, you need to uh, tie your shoes up, young man. I'm like, okay. And then I undo them again. I'd be like, nah, like, this, is how I wear my, this is how I wear my shoes. No matter what shoes I wear, even church shoes. And the sandals had strings, I rock them like that too. All right, so these are the black, all black sixes. Um, I don't really have a story behind these. I just always like these shoes. Um, I don't really wear them too much. Only thing I hate about, and these are the OGs. These are the OGs. As I can see in the back, it got Air Jordan on it. I think the ones that just released was, uh, I think they had a Nike on the back of it. But yeah, these are definitely the OGs. They got the Air Jordan on the back, um, just in case y'all don't know the difference. If you look on the back of the ones that just came out, they don't have Air Jordan. It has Nike. I believe it has Nike, but I'm but but I'm for sure it don't have Air Jordan. But yeah, so these are definitely the OGs. Um, I kept these bad boys up. I don't really rock these too much, but I love them to death. These are one of my favorite colors, um, Jordans. These are the six, all black. And yeah, man, I think they call it. I don't want to. I want to say the infrared, but I might be lying to myself. I don't know. Star X, I didn't do any research on these, but if I'm, but if I will assume, since they just released back out, the, the value probably dropped. So I probably give them like three, three thirty, three thirty, a half of four hundred. But yeah, man, these my, these my six, all black. You know what I'm saying? All right, the shoe y'all been waiting for. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all seen it early, early in the video, whatever. But, boom! These are the Dome Deckers 8s. Um, this is a different color wave, all blue. These are very, 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 very limited. They still go for about a good seven, eight hundred dollars from the last time I looked them up. They're not in the best condition. Um, I definitely need to get these re -clean. My cousin, shout out to my cousin Lance. Rest in peace. And shout out to my cousin, Levante, that's his brother. He tried to get them bad boys clean. They got the little bands inside of the shoes. You know what I'm saying? So yes, these are legit. It ain't nothing, 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 nothing. It's fake on my feet, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's the inside of the soul. But yeah, these are definitely um, some great shoes. Um, I don't really have a story behind these, but just know when I seen these come out, I got, I ended up getting lucky and I went to, oh, by the way, I don't have a box. I don't know where the box at. The box is, when I moved to my apartment three years ago, I done lost a damn box. So that's the reason why I don't have a box for these. I'm mad that I don't, but it is what it is. But anyway, um, what was that? I, I got these from, Nike, from the Nike uh, warehouse in Georgetown and I got lucky you know what I'm saying I, I got lucky on these and I went to the mall and I'm not making this up but when I tell y'all when you rarely see shoes and you and they're high price value people want to know yo I never seen those I see them on the internet but to see them in person is crazy you know so I had a couple of guys that came up to me and took pictures and stuff you know I was you know I ain't gonna lie I was kind of nervous because that's like a lot of attention and when people do that, they even think you a celebrity. But the fact that they were taking pictures with me because of the shoes and shit, that was even tough. I was like, damn. I was like, hey, can I take a picture with you, bro? You know, I don't even know who the guy is. I never got a social media. I don't know, you probably sold the picture for some hundreds, thousands, I don't know, you know. But all I know is, if you ever see me in the picture, tag me, please, because that's me. That's me. And I had locks at the time when I took that picture. But yeah, these are the eight known duckers. These bad boys most likely still go for 700. At the time it was going for 13 to $1,400. <laughs> but the fact that they still up there, that's tough. So yeah. 
Now, the moment y'all all been waiting for, man, including me, because I haven't even seen these yet. The 350 Yeezys. Now, before I open this box, before I open this box, you should know what these are. If you are a fan and a supporter of Sandman, you should know what these are. Because when I got the 700 Wavies, I brought these up. And the fact that I actually got them, the fact that they actually came back out with another hint, the fact that I have them now. So, let's get back, let's get into it, man. Like, the wait is over. Woo-wee! Oh, oh, the box got stuck, y'all. There we go. Make sure y'all box legit when y'all get these Yeezys because I'm not a Yeezy person when it comes to verifying stuff, but they say even the box can be fake. That's tough. The box can be fake. Damn. Come with a little basic card, you know, from Star X. Only Star X will give you some stuff like this. Um, here we go. Drum roll, please. Ta da! The 350 all black Yeezys. Mm. Man, it feels good to be even holding these bad boys. Oh my goodness, it feels good. This definitely feels good, man. Um, I, I just had to look at them for a second. I know what y'all saying. Sam man, we about to be seeing him in them joints. You got damn right. You got damn right. I'm gonna, wear, I'm gonna wear my shoes. You know what I'm saying? Most of y'all don't even have more than pair, more, uh, pair than what, three or four? But other than that, man, these are the Yeezys. I'm, I'm happy. Um, they finally came in. They fresh and clean. The next Yeezy journey, the next Yeezy that I'm trying to get, you even smell fresh are the, I, I forgot what number they are, but they the high top Yeezys, one of the originals. I want the all black version. Now, most of y'all follow me on Instagram, see me post it saying that I might have to take an L, but I might have to just drop that 1200 on these bad boys. Now, I will be sick and upset if Yeezy released those bad boys, because let me tell y'all something. These was up there for $900. Before they came back out a couple of, about a, um, last week, I think it was last week when they came out, these was $900. Real talk. And the fact that this came back out, it dropped the volume that much lower. Now they're worth on, on the app, I think they're around like $400, $500, whatever. So, but like I said, man, I got lucky and I got these bad boys, man. That's the verification. If y'all don't order shoes from StockX, they are legit. Um, they make sure your shoes is up to date. I had a pair of shoes I ordered from Yeezy. Um, I said Yeezy. I had a pair of shoes I ordered from Star X, and it wasn't even the design. It was some Jordans, and they literally like, oh my fact, the Bray, the Bray Elevens. I ordered the Bray Elevens, and it took me three months to get them joints because they literally had a fake Jordan, so they had to send it back and give me some another and give me some more to verify those to make sure that they was real. And I ended up getting them, I ordered them back in June. I ended up getting them close to August. So it was a long wait, but when I finally got them, man, it was a dream come true, boy. But yeah, man, so, hey, for those of y'all, for those of y'all that got to the end of the video to wait to see what shoes was in the intro, shout out to y'all, man, for the long support, man. I'm definitely about to try these bad boys on, man, because I just couldn't wait. Just couldn't wait. And I actually purposely waited to make this video just because of those, you know? So, hey, if you have a Yeezy box, and if you always want to sell your Yeezys, make sure your Yeezy box is not dented, because if it's got any type of dents, people will not buy your Yeezys. I don't know what. You can sell Jordans with a messed up box, and people will be cool with it. But if you sell any type of Yeezys, make sure... Make sure your box, your corners, the label, make sure all that is clean. So take care of your box. These are one box that I will take care of. Y'all notice I took care of the 700 Wavies, you know? Just take care of the box, you know? It don't matter if they Jordan, designers, whatever. 
Let me know in the comments what's your favorite pair of shoes, and we're gonna go crazy. Hey, if y'all want a part two of what all my favorite shoes, drop in the comments, let me know. Until next time, okay, and I see y'all. I'm out. Peace.